Hello dears, today we will be learning about the protozoan parasite Giardia lamplia. Coming to the introduction, Giardia is a flagellated protozoan parasite that colonizes and reproduces in the small intestine causing giardiasis. Giardiasis is caused by this Giardia and it is a flagellated protozoan which colonizes and reprodu reproduces in the small intestine. And it attaches, it attaches to the intestinal epithelium with the help of a ventral adhesive disc. They reproduce by binary fission. One important feature of this parasite is that they do not spread by through bloodstream uh, and so it does not spread to the other parts of the gastrointestinal tract and uh, so they remains confined to the lumen of the small intestine. They, uh, the, they are strictly intestinal parasite and they cannot infect and they won't infect any other uh, organs or, or any other parts of the gastrointestinal tract or they nor they enter the blood stream. Typically, they are found in lakes, streams or ponds like water, uh, water bodies that are contaminated by human and uh, other animal feces. Coming to the morphology, they, this protozoan parasite, this Giardia exists in two forms that is trophozoid and cyst. Trophozoid, they are pear shaped with uh, a resemblance to the tennis racket and they have uh, a four pairs of flagella with two nuclei and they are also having a ventral adhesive sucking disc by which they get attached to the uh, epithelium of the small intestine and all these structures together gives a smiley resembling face uh, to this uh, trophozoid and coming to the cyst, the cyst is oval or ellipsoidal shaped and they have four nuclei and uh, this from one cyst two uh, trophozoid can arise. Then uh, here comes the life cycle of this giardia. The cyst form of giardia enters the human uh, body by ingestion of contaminated food or water and they reaches the gastrointestinal tract and finally they reaches the small intestine and by that time they start the process of existation that means they exit from the cyst form into trophozoid form which is the active form of giardia and uh, then they become uh, active to undergo asexual replication by binary fission and then they colonizes and proliferates and they establish in the small intestine and at this stage some may develop disease symptoms and some others may not develop symptoms and uh, from this uh, small intestine they are moved to the colon region of the intestine colon region of intestine and uh, here the end cistation occurs that means they enters the cyst enters into the cyst form and uh, this uh, in the column uh, most of them get converted into the cyst form and some may remain in the trophozoid form and they are expelled through fecal matter and in when the when these came out of the body of the host the trophozoid cannot uh, survive outside the body of host hence they dies and uh, only the cyst can survive outside the body body of host and it may enter into the water bodies or other food uh, of uh, food materials of and uh, it and it may contaminate the water body and food which is ingested by other uh, humans and thus the life cycle of giardia continues 
coming to the pathogenesis of this giardia the trophozoite of giardia inhabits the duodenum and upper ileum by attaching to the mucosa by sucking disc and reproduce by binary fission the trophozoite of giardia inhabits the duodenum and the ileum portion of the intestine and they are they attaches to the mucosa with the help of the sucking disc and when they inhabit or infect the intestinal mucosa uh, it may lead to the shortening of microvilli elongation of crypts crypts and uh, damage the brush border cells of the uh, intestine then the as the infection progresses it may lead to the mechanical blockage of the intestinal mucosa competition uh, for nutrients may arise and it may and finally it leads to the inflammation and then uh, the all these developments results in the symptoms like diarrhea abdominal pain bloating nausea and vomiting the other symptoms include low grade fever headache loss of appetite etc and the transmission of this uh, disease occurs as we said earlier through the ingestion of contaminated food or water that is fecal oral route and in lab diagnosis two uh, direct two types uh, the lab diagnostic techniques can be uh, grouped under two headings that is direct evidences and indirect evidences and the direct evidences include the fecal examination and uh, the water like feces may contain trophozoite and the formed feces may contain cyst and it can be demonstrate, demonstrated by the fecal examination and uh, also duodenal fluid or bile examination may uh, give the result that is the presence of this trophozoite or cyst and indirect evidences include the tests in vitro tests like elisa ifa indirect fluorescent antibody test pcr string test etc and now that's all about the giardia lamplia that means there we studied their morphology then life cycle the transmission pathogenesis and lab diagnosis hope you all followed the topic thank you thank you for listening